Hi everyone, I hope you enjoyed my videos so far. It's all those little 10 minute videos that I paint in the morning before work, before everything starts. Um, yesterday we went to the shops a different one this time and I found these magnificent, beautiful, um, um, what are they? Peppers. <laughs> this is a yellow pepper and then the red pepper. And I love this, that they left the stem on there. I took some of the seeds from previous ones that I had because I love to make a soup with these. Um, I absolutely hate a green pepper. I don't like green peppers at all. I don't know, I ate too many of the green peppers when I was young, so I absolutely hate them. I, I hate it, the taste, so I don't like the taste. <laughs> absolutely love a yellow pepper and I love the red peppers so I'm going to take a lot of photos of these and I'm going to paint some yeah on YouTube for you and um, because I do have a few on patreon as well if you want to go and look at that but um, another short one on YouTube for you but I just love the way these uh, peppers um, are so beautiful and perfect they are super expensive yeah <laughs> I'm not sure why but they are like, I think 20 rand one. Yes, about 20 rand each. So, um, but I had to paint them. And I will share the way I paint them with you. Next time, we're going to paint a beautiful little rose petal today. Quick and easy. And we'll just paint it on this little section here. Um, so you can see this was the other little leaf that I painted and I'm just going to paint this one yes I'm just going to draw it quickly and I will figure out a way to have a phone stand here um, I'll have to find one but I'm going to hold the phone in my hand um, and then quickly just paint this so I'm just going to start with just I don't want to waste the paper so I'm just going to do all my little studies on one page here and obviously um, yes we'll just go like a rough sketch here I'm going to go slightly bigger how big it is I mean it's quite tiny but anyway so we'll do that and then there's a little cut there that I'll just map in there for me to remember a few little folds and a, and then a lighter section so this paper is not white so normally um watercolor paper i love to paint on arts hot press watercolor paper and um obviously this is a different little sketchbook watercolor, watercolor sketchbook and this is the little rose um i painted one of these um on instagram for instagram as well it wasn't a, a video it was just a a little photo that I took off the rose that I painted um, I'm sure we will get to this rose on patreon very soon it's very interesting quite a lot of detail um, on the inside loads of little petals um, but absolutely beautiful okay so we start so again I'm just going to use this little travel brush and yes I was scratching in the garden this morning as you can see I watered the whole garden I moved a few plants and it has just oh, I put on the sprinklers and it's like gorgeous and just beautiful and relaxing and yes this is a very beautiful humid area yeah because we have a very windy um we live in a very windy part of the world so it's, every day there's wind especially in december there's a lot of wind so i'm just going to clean my water quickly uh, because this is from the fern that i painted so just give me a second so i think the colors um i'm still filling up this um sminky uh, box of mine so i think i will go with the pv19 color because that is a ruby red even though it doesn't look red it is slightly has a nice beautiful pink so I like that color. I can also go with permanent karma and very watery. Um, when I started painting in watercolor, I had to mix a pink 
and I used white paint. <laughs> it was so funny uh, because, um, you know, when you just start painting, you're not sure how to mix a light color and it's actually quite easy to do. So this is the ruby red. I'm just going to mix them up and we need a little bit so as you can see i don't always clean my palette but i make sure that i don't mess all the colors everywhere we just want a little bit we'll fine tune this little station of mine here because i love to paint here for the quick little studies in the morning so obviously there's a little bit of the lighter section in there so i want to leave that as light as possible as you can see right there so and there's a little drop of yellow green in here on the edges too but we'll mix that now um obviously I, my line is a little bit dark because i want you to see it on the video so i'm going to take my brush and wet this and what you want is a very soft sheen on the paper you don't want puddles so I'll show you what a puddle is that is a puddle you don't want that you you don't want that you want to preferably have a soft sheen on your paper and I'm going to pick some of this up and move it away because I only have a certain amount of time to paint now before I have to go make breakfast and cook Tiger's food and just start the day. So it's Friday today, I can't wait for the weekend. Sorry for that, I have quite a lot of editing to do for some of the videos. Um, I'm painting, um, we painted a beautiful wildflower for Patreon. So now the color I'm going to pick up is this very watery ruby red, which is a PV19. Um, can you believe it? <laughs> Anyway, so I'm going to just drop this in and this brush holds a lot of water so just be careful. I'm going to just dab some of the color off there and very watery. Um, okay. Obviously I'm battling to hold the phone and paint and okay. And this little section here is quite dark so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to pick up a little bit of this um what is this color it is sepia <laughs> sepia and i'm also going to drop in just a little bit as you can see as a minute little drop that i'm going to drop in there i don't want too much of that in there now you can also use a little bit of french ultramarine uh, mix with this pink it will look beautiful and now what I'm going to do is just I'm going to make myself a lovely cup of coffee quickly while this is drying because I want this to dry completely before I add in all the colors and then I'm also going to take my eraser and just erase all of these pencil little markings because now I've got all the color on the paper and I want to just start adding in all of the detail of this little rose petal that we are painting. I'm also going to put the spill tea in some water so I can look at it the whole time. And then the ferns that we painted, they're all there, taking over this whole section here. <sighs> okay, so I've got some lovely black steaming coffee and I've got my little rose here and some water. Pop that in some water. And then this is dry. So now, oops, <laughs> going to just thicken this a little bit more and now we want to just drop in a little bit darker color. It might be a bit too pink for now but once it's dry, it will dry very softly, very light and the paper buckles a bit, that's okay. And then I'll just lift out some of the color. And as you can see, this brush holds quite a lot of water. So, and just 
make sure that we keep it there in that section there and lift up a little bit of that and then just move it around some of these little parts where we have those little folds in the petal and I will remove all of those right now the little markings from the eraser and then there's a little tear in the rose there I want to mask in I'm going to go a little bit darker we could use a yellow ochre for that but I'm going to just use a little bit of a sepia mix here and soften the marking and then again I'm going to wait for it to dry as you can see the paper is still wet and it's quite cloudy today so it's a bit bit humid and I can see there's a lot of mist coming over the ocean so and I also want a bit of this yellow mix in here and just come up in oops everyone's making a noise in the house but it's okay um I'm going to wait for that to dry I'm a bit busy I have to go cook Mr. T's food and then I'm gonna come back and just soften this little markings now so we're just mapping in the little petal quickly okay so this is how the little petal dried now i'm going to wrap out all the pencil markings and then we will just carry on oops i'm um, carrying uh, carry on adding in all of the detail so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the tinier little um, travel brush now just so that i can have a little bit more control on the, the paper and we're still going to use the same pink i'm going to try not to add a shadow over that section there and let's put the petal right there where it was so we want to darken this little area here so i'm just picking up some of the pigment that's all over my palette and already i'm following the little shape of the rose petal adding in all of these little details so I'm um, softening the markings as well and we want to create that little fold there so I'm just taking it out of it there and then I'm softening those little markings there really carefully I'm adjusting the shape of the rose petal and I want that little fold that you can see there and I'm you're looking at it from the side and I'm looking at it from the top so it might look a little bit different to what you can see there's also another little higher fold of well that little tip there that I want to add in so again and then just darkening that all the time holding my brush and you'll see what I do with my brush I just move it around and um, wiggle it it's a little bit dark here because it's cloudy and the section is under the deck so it's always like it's cool here it's so amazing and I love the way the sun shines here and that's why it's very tropical all the orchids love this section here because they get a lot of morning sun oh and I just cooked some beetroot and I had to peel it so my hands are basically the same color as the petal maybe a little bit more alizarin crimson but yes um, and again I'm just softening these little markings so and then I want to bring in this find a little bit of yellow ochre I'm gonna drop it in there so we want to add it in there just little bits on the petal there and I'll go back later and soften all of those markings because obviously it's not that dark just dip my brush in some water and then I go back and lift up some of the pigment and there you go 
and just soften it with your brush so there's clean water on my brush right now and there you go a little bit of a more darker color here and i want to soften those little markings there as well and it's going to dry very nicely now and then i want to just have a little bit more color at the top there bring that down and then i flatten my brush just to soften those little markings again and that is quite a dark marking there so i'm just wiggle my brush to soften it there i want to keep this section as light as possible so i'm not going to go in with too dark color there and the mixture is very watery on my brush um there you go just a few little lines there so i'm gonna mix a drop of let's see i have a little bit of a pv py19 eh? so i'm gonna mix with that pink and um, just soften those little drops in there so i might have to come in later my daughters are having coffee and camilla is busy with her masters um or thesis um that she has to submit very soon and it's just hectic this week my husband recovered from his hip hop and yep that's the coffee machine they drink quite a lot of coffee now because obviously they stay awake all night and i'm just going to go a bit darker in there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave this to dry completely now and then i'll come back tomorrow just want to adjust those little petal shapes there come back tomorrow and we are going to add a little bit more detail because i have to work now <laughs> cook mr t's food and that's it i thought i'm going to finish this in a day but Sometimes it doesn't happen and you just come back the next day. But I'm quite happy with how the petal has turned out now. So it's going to dry completely. And I rubbed out all of the pencil markings. And I will focus on the rest tomorrow. So I just want to soften this little section here. And this is not the normal place where I paint. I normally paint in my studio, but I am just sitting here by the garden under this beautiful deck area we have here. And then I paint some leaves and petals, some tillies, some ferns, whatever I can find, just as a quick study practice. So for this, I just dab my brush on to create a little bit of texture on this rose petal. And I'll follow the shape of the petal. And I'm going to leave it to dry and come back tomorrow and finish it off. Or maybe later this afternoon. So there will definitely be a part two.